Welcome to Pillage Overload! Woohoo! I got it! Cry. That's my privateer moment. <laughs> nice. See, it's not just me. See, that's a good. That's a good one. Good one, Glenn. At least he's got good jokes. Well, better than yours. Give me a noun. Oh, they're right here. Never mind. Give me a noun. This is what I'm about to tell you. You pothole plug-in gold dropping collector. <laughs> what? <laughs> Like it should be taken care of. Uh, I, I mean, I, I might have thought that they probably abused it back then too. I really, oh yeah. th I really think a part of it is just the people the, love stuff back then. The quality they, people of don't wood. love things now like they love things back then. I love you. You're a thing, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm taking care of you, right? <laughs> My jar <of> dirt. <laughs> I do That's things do like these right here, these little mini flags. Oh, so you can do it. You do big and This mini. one. Yeah, we do. I do the small ones and the big ones. You play for me again. So this is Blackbeard right here. And these are hand painted. She uh, obviously, she sews the flag for me. Because I won't let them on my sewing machine. <laughs> but it's both sides. These particular ones are sewn on the top so they don't go down the pole. Um, because it would just be a little bit too cumbersome to like tie them off and do all kinds Very of crazy nice stuff. Yay! Yes. Was that Henry Avery you got in here? This is Henry Avery, grandfather of pirates, and that's Steed. Steed Bonnet. These are the size of car flags, but they're just a standard uh, wooden dowel on them. So I don't know how they normally mount to a vehicle. We don't have that piece, but if you had that piece. You could, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, those dowels aren't strong enough for that, but you know, you could put it on your desk. Uh, showing your age with the VHS is, yeah, well, it happens. Hey. We're old. <laughs> I let him show his age every once in a while. I gotta. Well, you don't get any younger. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's for sure. Goonies. You don't even know how much I hurt just sitting in this chair. Yeah, Goonies. You Goonies. <laughs> That's probably one of our go-to's when we're when we're crashing at night. Anyway, we digress like yeah. we much do every night. So we, back we to the digress ship, a lot. Back here. to the shipwrecks. This one in pirate years, we're all dead. Yeah, we are. <laughs> in pirate years? <laughs> yeah. I didn't know we had them like dog years, pirate years. 200, that that? 200 years too late, pirate years. <laughs> yeah. I think, yeah, I think that's. So if accurate. I'm 51, how many years is that in pirate yeah. years? Times 200 plus. Hey, you guys. <laughs> Here. Well, Every 50 You're years, a dork. every year you multiply by 50. Every year you yeah. multiply by 50. That makes me like old. older than Yoda. <laughs> You're old as dirt, <laughs> like dried dirt, shoveled up dirt, <laughs> <laughs> dried up dirt, dried up shoveled dirt. In Baby a galaxy Ruth. far, far away. You both still look like you're in your 20s to me. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I, I wish. Okay. Uh, he doesn't have a jar of dirt. He is a jar of dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Old, dried out dirt. I got a jar of dirt. I got a jar of dirt. <laughs> Old, dried out dirt. Welcome to Pillage All Load. I am your host, Jack Sparrow, and your co-host, Jar of Dirt. dirt. <laughs> Welcome to the show. I got a jar of dirt. I got a jar I'm of dirt. The first talking <laughs> jar of dirt you've ever seen. You're such a handsome jar of dirt. You're you're my I jar of dirt. I got my jar of dirt. <laughs> yeah, I went through and I took a bunch of pictures of this is us at MTA last year on this. <laughs> like you took these pictures, Susan Constant. No, Lisa Margolis, <laughs> take this one. It looks fantastic. Oh, 
no. Bye bye. Somebody's <laughs> trying to buy the house. Yeah. Go she away. got people calling her during the live stream. I love it. Yes. Now go back to live. Goodbye. Okay, we're back live. I have to make sure I'm up. Back to normal sorts. Good, 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 good. good. Mm. Bitch, go away. <laughs> Fucking, I gotta start blocking numbers again. <laughs> Nothing like that to start the season off. Right? Let's start it off right. Uh, anyway. As I was, anyway. uh, March, Irish Festival, cooking up, show, Vegas. cooking show. This is not. May. <laughs> Drinking show? Yeah. You know, there may be a there may be a cooking something for Parley in the future. We haven't gotten there yet, but it just may be coming. Oh, when they start inventing really good meals to cook rum with, other than rum cake. Hot buttered <laughs> rum. Meals. Food. What liquid diet doesn't count? Well, yeah, but you know. Diversification. <laughs> okay, so most of the 1930s movies, you look at them, it's kind of got like gone with the wind type of feel to it. Like, oh, oh, that was me. Just make out with me. No, 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 the face. <laughs> don't ever do that again. <laughs> Please don't ever do that again. And trying to figure out things before he ran into Paul Paul's, Paul's grave, grave Williams, Williams to go you can call treasure. Him Paul. He it? actually was known as that also. Yeah, and that's when he started doing, he went for the treasure hunting to be able to come mm. back and woo. Paul's great fight. Woo, 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 woo. I thought we weren't going to sing. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Although we do have to say happy birthday to Mr. Morgan because his birthday was Ooh, Tuesday. Toast. Toast, to, toast. Toast to the captain. Toast to the captain. His birthday was Tuesday. He would have been still dead. <laughs> Really? <laughs> what? Yeah, well, yeah. Still dead. Still dead. Oh my god. No. Hold on. Was lieutenant governor, governor, then lieutenant governor, then governor, then lieutenant governor, then governor. Glenster says you could do a live dead interview with the captain on the Ouija board. No. No. no and hell, hell no. no. <laughs> We've seen enough of that shit gone bad. No. We can, we have these a lot of smart ass clips. You know, like me talking about how no, we're not gonna talk to Captain Morgan on an Ouija board. Who's a smart Captain Morgan? Talk smart. to Captain Morgan on a Ouija board. Well, where did we have that suggestion? I don't remember that. You are so full of shit. <laughs> I am going I was to slap trying you. To play it up, you, like, you let's do that. No, <laughs> shut no. up. See, that would be a video for TikTok. No. I'm talking to Captain Morgan on a Ouija board. No. No. I'm going to ship your ass back up to Jersey. You could do it with Glenn and leave me over here, my lonesome self, being safe and all that. Are you, you go ahead and be in your safe space. I am in my safe space. <laughs> I got my <laughs> not rum in my safe space. <laughs> uh, but this, I don't know if you can hear that with my mic. See, it was just this. All right, are we happy? Okay, they're happy. So, yes, my bolt for vest scared dogs. This is what happens when you're doing pillage overload and the hubby gets smoke happy. Oh, you see the smoke. Move, Ruby. Come on. This is the front room. Oh, by the way, we've opened windows and have already decided to breeze it out. You gotta go upstairs. Oh, I gotta go upstairs? Oh my god. Um, yeah, we set off the smoke alarm. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, it's so smoky. Oh 
up here. Yep. Look. Oh, it's sir. I am. It's not my phone. This is totally not my phone. Totally not my phone. Right, right, we. I'm not as bad as Willis. Oh, you're close to it sometimes. Furlong. Can you spell? Because I know you can't do math. Uh, furlong is an eighth of a mile, 220 yards. Oh, that's nothing. <laughs> that's like short expectations. Lowered, Lowered expectations. expectations. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, do you make have your own parlay special proprietary grog? We do not. Yeah, no, we. Well, it's not. Hold on. Hold on. Proprietary. It's not proprietary, but we do have our own special parlay grog. <laughs> That's exactly have, what this is. I have a drink. It that is I known. It is known as the pink stuff, and it is known throughout anybody who knows us in the pirate community to come visit Ballast and Leshen. For some of the pink yeah. stuff, for the good stuff in camp. I have to yell at him sometimes because I go and get some of it. And I'm like, it's gone. <laughs> I didn't even get a drink. It's gone. Yeah. He's probably a teetotaler or something. We need to come up with a name for our drink. <laughs> yeah. What's not name, tonight, though. What's naming after a pirate <laughs> or, something, or a ship <laughs> that hasn't sunk? <laughs> we don't want it. We don't want no. We want no stinking sunken ships. Yeah. We we like we like our ships we like above. Ship, we yeah. like ships above water. So ones afloat. So uh, 16th century England put an extra tax on proof and proof was on um, proof spirits. And what England said proof was was they took the alcohol and they soaked it in gun pellets and then they lit it. Because that sounds safe. You know safe? why they did that? Because they're lame. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they did that. And then Vaughn had this conspiracy theory. He thought that Morgan was just out to, like, screw him. It's aliens. It's aliens. <laughs> it was aliens. Aliens did it. It was aliens. Where are we at on this? It's right here. It's right here. It was aliens. <laughs> so, yeah. But why don't you talk we're, about what you thought was the coolest thing about Captain Morgan? About the, I, the rum and the expedition. The fact that they funded a uh, expedition to find his ship. Would do you remember which satisfaction? Ship it, was? The satisfaction. it was a satisfaction. Yes, which was his main ship. His flagship. Yeah, is what they call. Yes, his flagship. <laughs> his flagship. <laughs> his main ship. The now flagship. and now it's a sunken ship. <laughs> Ship at the bottom. It's, of the a, ocean. it's a shipwreck ship. <laughs> it's a shipwreck. And guess who likes shipwrecks? <laughs> so yeah, uh, the company found out that they were doing an expedition looking for the satisfaction, and they were running out of funding. So they decided to help fund the expedition, and they found a ship. They weren't positive that it was a satisfaction but a lot of the clues led them to believe that it was because there was cannons they the yeah. cannons were all in the time period found six cannons in 2010 and then uh march of 2011 when they granted the money yeah. if it wasn't his ship it was definitely in that time period mm -hmm. um so it could have been something some other ship well I, I, from that i, I did uh, end up finding out what ship it was Oh, you did? Yeah. So, oh, okay. Smithsonian Magazine reported it was actually a Spanish merchant vessel. So, they found it in 2011, and it was 2015. It took four years. Four years to find it. And the guy that was on this expedition is from Texas University. He's actually the one that Josh Gates did that episode with on Expedition Unknown. When the uh, the crustacean... Yeah, where um, they were talking at the fort. Yeah, and, that, and they went and did the x-ray... Yeah, they were talking about how they were conducting mm -hmm. the expedition. Yeah, and the, the, it, the, it, I'm going to screw up this name. Nuestra Señora de Encarnacion. And yeah. it sunk in 1681, which was basically... So Satisfaction sank uh, during the Panama raid. But this, this, sunk, this sunk 10 years after Panama. Oh, so we are on season eight. Yay. Season eight. 
Don't even want to get there. <laughs> so we're both reminiscing. Oh. Reminiscing. Oh, the seasons, how oh, they pass yeah. so quickly. Oh, well, what was I saying? Like February was going to be, February is officially three years since we started doing this. Yeah. And then sometime next season, we'll be hitting our 100th episode. Yeah. So, we so stand by for that. Stand, it's going to be a big hold, event extravaganza. Hold fast. Big, big giveaway. Lots of goodies. Hopefully lots of goodies. Well, we're, we're, we're a small business after all, so there could only be so many goodies. <laughs> Uh, so this past week, um, had the epiphany that we've reached 10 years as Parlay 8. I was like, happy 10 years. Happy 10 years. Yay. So they're looking, Let's I'm like, to that. It's like, oh, hey, 10 yeah. years. Hey, I know what else we can do. Oh yeah. That. Ring the bell. Happy 10 years. Happy 10 years. Let's give it a good one. Okay. Okay. Give it a good okay. one. I'm still <laughs> recovering from driving back from Baltimore and working. Uh, so he was arrested in March of 1672. And the only reason why he was arrested was because the Spanish were getting their panties in twist. <laughs> because all, like of, they do. all of the uh, information was coming back from Panama, from Maracaibo, Cuba. From Cuba. <laughs> Porto, Porto del Principe. Yeah, Cuba. Yeah, Cuba. It came from Cuba. They held their own and ended Just, up on this island to do the repairs. I mean, you always hear about over there doing all that. Caribbean. You hear about Florida. You hear about Cuba. Cuba, Cuba, Cuba. Um, Pacific Ocean. Cuba. Cuba. What, what's Cuba? Cuba. Cuba, yeah. Cuba, Cuba. <laughs> what was the other name for the island? Cuba. <laughs> it's You're not, it's yeah, not, I'm and like it's it. not the island, it's the city, and it's Cuba. <laughs> I'm not, you're not, no. Oh, I'm not gonna get you're you not, to try no. and say it. Bite me. <laughs> you're a jerk. <laughs> Are we going down that road again tonight? Huh? Are we going me down that road again me tonight? On you? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Don't make me do sucky face again. <laughs> no, don't apparently do Apparently, no one else liked again. it either. <laughs> Well, the so when they decided to redo the standardization of a proofing of rum, or not rum, but proofing it. Show me your spirit, proof. Uh, this is where it gets complicated, and you're like, what the hell were they thinking? Stay with me here, please. Just stay with me. A proof spirit was now a liqueur with an alcohol level 12 over 13 the weight of an equal volume of distilled water at 11 degrees Celsius. What? Okay. So you had to be a chemist? To Speak this, uh... English! They did. They were speaking British English. <laughs> <laughs> this specific gravity corresponds to about 57 ABV. This standardization became incorporated. Do you into understand great... the words that are coming out of my yeah. mouth? No, I don't understand the no. words that are coming off of this page. Good. This incorporated the Great Britain's 1952 Customs and Excise Task. And you know what America said? The hell with that shit. Screw that. <laughs> Movies and shows. That was the other thing I want to talk about. <laughs> I'm not supposed to tell them the categories. Category is Movies, Movies and, and shows. shows. Ding, 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 ding. Uh, we already talked about how. What's the question? Cap Captain Morgan's lost gold. Huh? Captain Morgan's Lost Gold. Uh, what is a movie? I don't know. <laughs> Expedition on... Ow. Uh, that included everything when it came to the measurements and weight. So, Joseph bon Dombey. Bombay. I'm not Dombay. talking... No, Dombey. We're not talking about Gordon Bombay from the Mighty Ducks. Dombey. <laughs> Ducks Fly V. Quack, 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 Mr. Ducksworth. <laughs> you lost me. <laughs> oh, I did. Yeah. Gordon Bombay, Mighty Ducks, quack, quack, yeah. quack, Mr. Ducksworth. Hey, oh, my lose. God. Where is M when I need her? You didn't lose me. You oh, lost I lost you. Them. Nope. You I, lost I, this them. is where I need M. M knows yeah. exactly where I'm well, talking about. Hockey friends. Chat, so. I know. Damn it. Hockey, 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 hockey. understands this shit. 
You know, anybody else who watches hockey understands that. Nobody cares. I'm going <laughs> to pop you one. You'll know, knock it off. Metric. Oh, now you want me to get back to metrics. <laughs> Grab the book again. What do you want? There were, I'm grabbing the book. There were, oh, the insults? You yeah, like the where insults? they put the words next to it. The list. Yeah, like there's they a couple. Two, like these. Yeah, the yeah. modifiers now. Yeah, modifier. Yeah. This is curses. Curses. World again. I like that because it's like you can take one list and kind of put yeah. it with anything else on the other list and vice versa. How about this? Yeah, lily livered kraken. <laughs> Let me see. I want to do one. <laughs> If I can read this put shit. Your I gotta put, put my your old man's eyes on. I gotta on. put my old man's glasses on. <laughs> yeah, let it live cracking. Hey, what? look, I even did the Scottish on that one for you. <laughs> you rusty hook, son of a sea cow. <laughs> son of a sea cow. You rusty hook, sheep shagger. <laughs> and I love we're just doing it in it's the a Scottish accent. We're not even feeling Shagger's what? like the nice way to. <laughs> The sheep We're not even do, like trying sheep to even be like, like the oh, nice way to say like that. Pirates. We're talking like Scottish. Yo, we will eat and sea dog. I think I'll get called the HR if I call that on somebody. There's a they have ones for the office. Oh, they do. That's there right. was another list there was. There where was you could list. actually use words in the frog office. Frog looking treasure dropper. Like they. Did you, did you frog? The words, the words you could use for like different things in the office. In the office, uh, maroon. If you've been handed an assignment or project that's not properly funded and which will strand you with no support or chance of success, you've been marooned. Y'all you know, need to y'all need to start using these at work. Marooned. So I just go, marooned yeah, you got to go through that list because there's a there's some good ones in there too. Uh, the bilge, where the lower level employees work, the cubicle farm. Your desk is probably there. <laughs> the he knows what captain's quarters are. Obviously, the CEO's office. Oh, Hemp and Halter. Where was I reading Your that? tie. Yeah. Hep and Halter. Let's know if you know this one. Uh, the hangman's noose, if you didn't know that. When celebrating talk like a pirate day at work, the phrase to refer to the tie you have knotted around your neck, and when your boss finds out like that your accountant errors have cost the company billions, <laughs> billions. You, you can put your hemp and halter to good use, strangling your boss. <laughs> billions. Billion, million, billion dollars. <laughs> goat locker. What is the goat locker? This is the quarters of the bosun, quartermaster, or whatever petty officer actually runs a ship. In your case, it'd be the office of your immediate supervisor. Yeah. It's hot. And when I read this, I thought of um, Damon. Cup. A cup. Sometimes worn on a chain around the neck, which Damon does because he's already drunk. Davy Vane, if you guys remember season one yes. when we interviewed men. And for us Renfair people, they actually make uh, loops that go under your belt where you can hang your belt. Yeah, so you don't have to look belt. like a drunk and have it hanging around your neck. Or just have it clanging around hanging on your neck um it's which sailors receive their ration of grog every day this is how you might refer to your coffee cup during your morning break and then scuttlebutt that was one thing we talked about a lot when we went through all our terms and all that it's in which scuttlebutt actually pretty still much still term. gets used yeah everybody knows what that is when you say it and, and every now time you I'm know like, that it was originally a naval term mm -hmm. the insults yeah the porthole and plugging Dirty old salt. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I didn't see that on the list. There's two pages. There was a second oh. page with more insults on them. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a sea you cow. You frog licking parrot spanker. You son of a sea I cow. I like that one. I still like that one. That's going to be my favorite one. You seaweed smoking fishmonger. I like parrot spanker. <coughs> what? Your grog guzzling parrot spanker. Yeah, that's on there. Parrot spanker. Yep. Uh, you rusty ooh, hook ooh. monkey dancer. <laughs> monkey dancer. Yes, monkey dancer. Is that like private dancer? Or how about you weevil eating she dog? <laughs> <laughs> God forbid you get mad at somebody. <laughs> yeah, weevil eating she dog. <laughs> to keep these in my office next time somebody pisses me off you're like hold on let me see the oh list here oh my god um, i'm mad at you yeah. you weevil eating sea dog yeah barnacle bottom gold dropping collector <laughs> you're like the worst mad pirate ever 
Um, you poop swabbing thicky. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. Can you imagine being called into HR you you heard today because a complaint has been filed? Did you really call somebody a rusty hook <laughs> monkey dancer? Yes. <laughs> yes. What's with the se really seaweed smoking second assistant cabin boy? <laughs> that's just way too much to say. I know. What is it? That's why I got to find a shorter first one to go with the second longer one. Oh my god. Oh, Your Count Festoon Kraken. <laughs> Your albatross hugging fancy lad. Fancy pants. See, that's where you gotta get those like Scottish albatross hugging fancy lad. That's how we gotta go with fancy pants. Your chum swimming. Fancy lad. <laughs> He's a fancy <laughs> lad, that boy. Here? Yeah, fish sniffing rum pot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even going to touch that one. <laughs> yeah, figurehead funneling land lover. <laughs> yeah, wench wrestling dirty old salt. <laughs> yeah, wench wrestling cannon fodder. Yeah, what, what, what's with the albatross hugging? I don't know. Yeah, horn swoggling sea dog. I still like this one. Yeah, <laughs> horn swoggling sheep shagger. Sheep well, the shagger. albatross obviously was not well liked, so mm, anything yeah. to do with the albatross. Not good. Yeah, kelp festoon gold dropping collector. What's with the gold dropping? I don't know. I don't get that one there. either. Gulls, like seagulls. Oh, gull. I gull. thought you said gold. No, gull. Uh, like gull yeah. dropping. Yeah, taking Got. seagull shit. Gotcha. Basically saying seagull shit. Oh, whoa. Oh. 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 I think this one might be good. You wench wrestling bilge monkey. <laughs> <laughs> so wench wrestler wench huh? wrestling bilge monkey all right and until then be safe stay warm stay hydrate but above all else hashtag drink more rum night everybody mm. The ice hit my nose. Hey, welcome to the special clip of Pillage Overload. If you've gotten through this far of the video, we thank you. Obviously, we are not live. But is this live? We're live right now. You're live. <laughs> I'm alive. You're live. It's alive. As promised, we are going to share the Bushwhacker drink that we withdrew from our episode last week. And we are going to draw the next drink for when we are back live with you guys. And this is the Bushwhacker. Which, um, I don't know if I read this. It is one ounce dark rum, coconut rum, chocolate liqueur, which we had to do a little bit of a mm, faux pas with. Oh, the switcheroo. Yeah, we did creme de cocoa because it was downpour and we didn't want to go hunting for it. And yeah. It, we're, we're in the middle of a tropical storm here, right? <laughs> and, Give us a break, will ya? Uh, Bailey's Irish cream liqueur, which we use Ryan's, which is an equally good one. And it's crushed ice. And I didn't put nutmeg on it because we're drinking from a damn straw. You're not going to taste nutmeg. No. Uh, grinding your own fresh nutmeg really is the best bet for this recipe. Except we're drinking from a straw. <laughs> this drink is really filling and best suited to Sunday afternoons, or in our case, Saturday, uh, by the pool when you may consider drinking your lunch. Well, it's Saturday evening. Evening by the, the after dinner drink. Ophelia Tropical Storm. <laughs> Fill a blender with slightly less than a cup of crushed ice. All ingredients except nutmeg. Blend until ice cream consistency. And then sprinkle with nutmeg. Again, straw, nutmeg, unnecessary. That is ice cream consistency. Is it? Mm -hmm. Milkshake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Hashtag, drink right. more rum. Put a little rum in there, did you? Oh, I did it. It's Chalker's Tea. <laughs> Are you going to live? It's an ounce of dark rum, ounce of coconut. Co coconut. Cho <laughs> coconut? Yeah, coconut you're choking over there. And chocolate liqueur. It's basically four ounces of liquor in here. <laughs> Whew. Yeah, you can taste every ounce of it. And I used the um, plantation rum in this. I wasn't about to use our 100 proof rum. And I, you know how much I don't like the... Why? Because I want to use up the damn plantation rum that I don't like. <laughs> That's why I'm tasting that. Mm. That's why it's clearing out my nose. 
So what oh, do you yeah. think? Oh, different. Yeah, shouldn't have used that plantation, should you? Um. Yeah. It's like <laughs> it's like borderline. I want to enjoy, but it don't because yeah. it's that plantation. Yeah, it sneaks up on you. Ugh. It's chocolatey in the beginning and plantation at the end. <laughs> <laughs> it will drive you to the ground. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, please tell me we got something good to come back to. Draw we back next live. week's drink. What do we got? We have a Bermuda Sunset. Oh, shit. <laughs> that one looks sounds yeah. good. Bermuda Sunset. If it's as good as it sounds. I was kind of hoping we got Brown Eyed Girl. That was one of the ones. Mm. Uh, Bermuda Sunset. Uh. <laughs> uh. Oh, because it starts B E. Oh Lord! <laughs> now that you sip my drink. Um, it's not in here. Hmm. The hell you say? Right? Wait a minute. Oh, be well, that's fucked up. <laughs> it goes Bahama. You can edit that part out. It goes Bahama, Bermuda, banana. That's not an alphabetical order. <laughs> ba na 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 na. We got plenty of bananas left from the last streak we had. So what do we got? It's grenadine, gold rum, orange juice, and champagne. Sounds like a. It sounds spicy like spicy mimosa. It sounds like a Sunday morning mimosa. That's a Sunday morning drink, if you ask me. Mm. So. Sounds like a rum mimosa. But anyway. Ramosa. Ramosa. A Ramosa. Is that what we're going to call it now? Yeah. So we appreciate you guys checking in the episode this week. We hope you had a lot of laughs at the clips we picked because we <laughs> laughed. We're freaks. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you guys live next week. We thank you for joining us. Until next time. Hashtag. Hashtag drink, drink more rum. rum. Ciao. Sayonara. Ahoy. Avita Fare Sayonara. thee well. Bye. Fair winds falling seas. Um, we'll see everybody else next week. We are alive. Stupid corsets, drunk pirates. That's how we roll. So everybody, good night. Have fun. Hashtag. Drink more rum. <laughs>